this microscope is what I use generally. On top of that I've got a camera which is an Amscope AF102. It's an auto-focusing camera and it runs using a mouse uh, which makes it fairly difficult to control especially when you've got limited amount of workspace on your desk. So this here, what you can see in front of you, this bit here, what this is is my prototype controller that replaces the mouse. What it's got is this bit's a Teensy 3.2. Uh, it's got a, an absolute rotary encoder. Uh, this is an MCP 23017 I2C I GPIO chip. And what I've done is I've made it so that there uh, you can see on the little OLED screen that this bit here show, shows what I want to do. And then I can flick it into a mode, you click a button, and then the camera will focus uh, or do whatever it's been done. So essentially, it's running a macro that carries out the mouse clicks required to um, do what I want it to do. I kind of want to minimize the number of controls that this has just to keep it simple. If I show you on the on the display you can see I've got the got everything in focus but if I just put something high up further up let's just get this and see that's that that's a little bit out of focus so I then go uh, into click focus and I put click that and it runs the macro and then that gets the thing. The auto func auto focusing function itself I found is a bit poor so you put in auto focus mode um, you move it around and it'll start playing hunt the it'll keep hunting the way to do this is to click focus and then uh, put it into like a manual mo manual focus mode which then fixes um, the system you can I can also adjust the manual focus just by going into manual focus and I can manually adjust the focus although it's quite it's quite a um, slow process because of the way the mouse moves is that I if I was running this off a mouse I could do it quite easily by because I can see where the mouse is on the screen and the mouse can point to the I can use the I can pick up the block as it were the pointer on the slider and move that left and right whereas because this doesn't know where that block is I have to use um, like a scroll wheel uh, functionality instead so that allows me to move it out of move it in and out of focus so I have it do it that way so that that's fairly slow um, but the it does work and I found for normal use that you don't really need to do much that but anyway, I can just click focus it most of the time oops Put some focus there auto focus and that auto focuses it and then I don't need to mess about with it and it will stay within that focal plane even when I remove the uh, the thing so I'll just have to click focus again uh, my intention, uh, this is kind of like a prototype, the thumb joystick is probably not going to be used um, in the final version, um, mainly because it's a bit, it is a bit on-offy, I couldn't get it, I couldn't really make it much, much of a, it's not much of an improvement over a mouse to be honest. Um, so that, that was the basic bits. The, this rotary encoder is an absolute rotary encoder in that it's an 8 bit, eight, there's 8 connections from this and it gives 127 positions throughout the 360 degrees um, of rotation. This is probably going to go in the other one, I'm going to replace that with a grey type um, encoder. Uh, which only takes up two uh, general purpose input pins, it's a two way switch. 
Um, where else? Um, I've written it on the Teensy, I've written it all on the Arduino code. Um, let's see here. Um, what I've got is like a. I had to work out which way the rotary encoder was going. Um, so I had to create an array. Oops. I had to create an array like here with all the 127 values or 28. Um, th those are the in those are the values that come out of this encoder on this wiring. If you've got a different wiring, then you get different values. Um, but it's always the, once you've got it set up, it's always the same. Uh, and then somewhere in my code, um, I've got this encoder direction calculation of an array, in that it convert it kind of. Um, he said trying desperately to remember how this thing works. It looks in it 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 gets the current value and compares it to the last value. Although it it lo loops through that in that big uh, encoder values until it hits uh, the one it's come across and then exits out. So it finds the index positioning of uh oh, where are we? of that value and then exits out so the index value of that so if it's unchanged just returns um else if conditions um so like this these bits are start of the, these two here are start of the uh start and end of the arrays and this one here is like if you're somewhere in the middle or somewhere else in the array so if it's less than the last index it's going clockwise otherwise counterclockwise um, otherwise it's going to be clockwise and then drop and returns and then sets the uh, last index again to the index um, that's way that way it then sets up the rotation direction um, is then set in this boolean kind of thing. That's kind of all I needed to know from this, which is why a grey encoder would be more suitable for this project. Um, what else can we do? Oh yeah, I've got these re these three buttons as a test are connected to the first. Th uh, well, sorry, the last three of the uh, GP I/O bus on this. Um, kind of like what I do with these is I um, I kind of like what you might call add the binarily binary adding them up so yeah, I don't really need to know which button's being pressed so I can actually pick up any combination of button um, that I can I need to need to use um, for the uh, for the output, so I can have one, I can have all three pressed, that one and that one I've set up so it can disable the mouse just in case things go mad. Um, and basically, I'm using that as a select button, uh, or the mouse is the equivalent of a left mouse click. Um, what else can we also be trusting this code? Not a lot, really, it just loops through stuff. Um, these here, these are the macros, so I've got a, the menu selection comes through to this macro run options, uh, so I can then do the thing. The manual focus one is one of the more complicated macros because it has to, it just moves to the thing. I've kind of spent a little, spent a little while uh, working out my X, Y positions. Uh, and then I have to put in a little delay to make sure it's actually carried out what it's done. Uh, mouse click, again delay, uh, then move the mouse to the... Uh, so that moves it to the button to click the manual focus button. That moves it to the slider. 
um, so that make clicks the clicks the cider and then this this code here this while true um, allows me to slide it to move the slider up and down and, uh, and just the scroll wheel uh, in that line there and then once I've pressed when I'm going to press the button again to exit one of these buttons um, exits out of the loop and returns me back to uh, to thing this some of this other code is just debug code um, manual you see the auto focus is dead easy uh, and I've got like a, all of these have like a common head um, and the, the mouse itself is moved to the top um, the top left uh, corner and that activates the, uh, the microscope the, cam the camera's drop down menu uh, I think the menu the system's written in Windows C on the camera my next stage is going to make is making a printed circuit board this I've got this here um, I've already started making it um, so I'll put in the resistors for the uh, LEDs and pull-ups and things uh, that's the rotary encoder uh, this has got an RGB LED uh, RGB LED built into it um, so I can like have red green blue and purple and sorts of stuff on that but because this GPIO chip is just on or off I can't make it um, PWM and lots of nice fancy glowy colours but it'll, it'll, it'll be fine uh, I'm going to take this oil LED put a little that on the screen there um, I put a row of buttons on this one because this only takes up um, three pins sorry two pins I'm going to make this have to, I've added four buttons in, as well uh, as well as the button that's in the switch in the uh, encoder and that's going to be <coughs> those are going to be like the uh, Mac they're going to be shortcut buttons uh, so that'll be like manual focus or auto focus or something like that and then this will be like for clicking through to some of the more exotic lesser used things uh, you can see I've not what this is is like this is the front panel board uh, so the interface of the team Z is going to be behind this uh, behind that so it'll be like a little power supply 5 volt um, power supply and uh, USB out and everything will be on here so uh, this is like the front panel board uh, yeah so I'm behind um, yes, and that is how far I've gotten so far. Uh, so I've got proof of concept, nice little um, setup. Um, and, um, I'll do some more bits later. Yes, thank you.